Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, you may recognize this picture from my last live stream. Um, excuse the lighting, it is raining like galore outside. So I have my light ring on and I've been tweaking with the camera settings, but man, this camera setting is not doing her hair any justice. <laughs> she looks so much prettier in person. <laughs> but um, I wanted to teach you how to color skin using castle art pencils. I don't think I'm going to finish the entire picture on camera. I just don't have that kind of time. But skin was one that just about everyone requested. So I thought I would give it a go. Now, I am not good at skin. <laughs> so I find it very humorous you guys wanted to witness this. But you know what? I'm going to be fearless. We're going to do it. We'll see how it turns out. This video may never post. We don't know. Just kidding. I'll post it. Good and bad. So with skin, um, you know, she has a brownish, um, not, I don't want to say auburn. It has a slight tinge of auburn, but it's more brown. I was going for a nice autumn -y hair color. I want to make her a little paler. Um, <sighs> so yeah, I think what we'll do is let's try to wing it. Um, see now, flesh looks really pinky, like more pinky than I would want. I like terracotta and flesh light for sure. Is that regular terracotta? No, terracotta light. Okay. Uh, Primulose yellow would be too yellow. And I wish this set had a cream or something. All right, we're going to have to pull the flesh. I mean, I'm just pulling colors at random right now. I may not use them all, but... Um, and then we'll grab Flesh Deep. It's very pinky, and I'm only going to use that on her cheeks. So, uh, just for a little color. And then I guess... I'm going to grab the Naples Yellow and Naples Yellow Light. Sure. Why not? Where is my Naples yellow light? I might already have that one out. Okay, so Naples yellow. Um, yep, I already have it out. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be, uh, well, this will be interesting, won't it? Let's uh, zoom you guys in a little bit so you can witness the uh, monstrosity in action. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that is the rain literally pouring down. So if you hear kind of like a weird noise in the background, that is the rain. Um, gosh, this camera setting is really annoying me. So let's see how this works out. But I definitely want... Yeah, all right. So we'll try the terracotta cut a light. I may end up having to come in with another color too. I'm just going to do really light layers so that I can um, erase if need be. If I decide like, oh, that's not a color I want. Wow, I wonder if you guys can hear that rain on camera. It's kind of crazy. It is like dumping right now. <laughs> Good news is, is like the sun is coming out with it. Interesting. Yeah, this is just gonna be my shadow color. I might even have to go in with like an even darker one. Gonna put a little bit up here in her scalp line. Again, just kind of following the grayscale the artist already gave me. Just kind of put 
Pushing that down lightly. around her nose. Oops. You'll notice I'm leaving a slight white line. In fact, let me zoom in a little more. Just so you guys can see that. show up. There is brown there. It's very light, but it's there. terracotta pull it out a little bit not a lot still want her skin to be lighter than that this is just gonna add some pinkish tones but you gotta be careful with this color because it's very pinky and we don't want her to come off looking like a strawberry I'm basically kind of going over where I put my terracotta light down and just going a little bit above it. I'm also going to define her nose. I'll use this for the shadow on her nose. Like you notice, I'm holding my pencil pretty far back to prevent myself from accidentally pressing too hard because I may end up not liking this and want to erase it. So <laughs> if you're ever unsure about a color, just go in there real light. I think you guys can see that color very well. Just try to warm it up a little. Oops, not that much. Don't you love when I have to play with my camera settings while filming? <laughs> but it's like the color is just not showing up very well. I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. doesn't help that the sun is coming out so now my light ring and all my light settings that I spent like a half hour tweaking just for the poor lighting are now working against me but you can see her nose is kind of formed here I'm gonna bring that out just for light okay then grab flesh light and I'm kind of going over everything. 
This time I'm going to bring it out a wee bit more. This will be our more predominant skin color. Still leaving this white line here though. The only bummer about these pencils is on this really smooth cardstock. They tend to get a little scratchy, so they really do need to be layered up. I had noticed that when I was coloring in the mug on my live stream. So you want to leave a little bit of white here under the eye. Take this over the eyelid. Same thing over here. Overlapping all those colors, a little bit of white space. Again, also leaving a white line right there. Okay, and now go over the nose. I do want to leave. I'm almost creating like a little circle here at the tip of her nose. That's kind of just a guideline for me so that I remember to use a lighter color there. And then I'm bringing in her nose here. Not really worried about accidentally covering the eyebrows because I still got to color those in. Yeah, I'm just basically using light pressure and kind of bigger, well, medium circles. Hoping Naples Yellow isn't too. Wait, did I want Naples Yellow? Apparently I did. That's right, because I don't have a really beigey color. So I'm going to take my Naples Yellow just really lightly. Let's see if I even like this color in here. So maybe don't follow me right now, because I may be erasing it. We'll see. That's all right if you add it lightly. So you guys know I'm not the fan of layering, but there is a time and a place, and skin is definitely one of those times and places. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to switch cameras. The other one was driving me nuts because it was washing out her face. I was like, I can't even see this. Okay, so let's go back to, um, or sorry, 
pick up Naples Yellow Light. It's the closest to a cream that we have. So I'm going to put it here in this white space that I've left. I'm also going to use it to kind of blend everything out here. Like these highlight areas, not just the I don't want them just white. I'm using the Naples yellow or uh, yeah, Naples yellow light kind of as my highlight area. Bring it down around the nose. Very lightly put it in here. Now I could probably break out a Prisma white or something too, but all right. Now let's go back to terracotta light. Just start again so we can get into these shadow areas. In fact, I might break out something a little bit darker for her skin. But let's see. I have terracotta light. I might grab. Sepia or brown ochre might work well. Um, try the color close to, I guess sepia is the closest to like a chestnut color. I don't want her too dark. Or a purple. I don't know. Let's grab my sepia real quick and just see. It's already on my desk, I think, because we used it for her hair. Alright, so I'm grabbing my sepia just to add very, very lightly just to the super dark areas. Not her, all of her shadow areas, just the ones that I want extra shadowy. <laughs> sure, that's a word. Again, light pressure. Holding my pencil far back because I tend to be heavy handed, so this is the best way to prevent me from doing what I do oh so naturally. Yeah, I like that in the shadow areas. That one will definitely help. Okay. I just want to get right here. I just want to get a little bit more over here for the shadow. Still leaving that white space though. Grab terracotta light, go back over. I'm not bringing this out too far because it's it's kind of an orangey brown, and I want to not make her look too orangey because of her hair. Same thing. Hard to find some of these nose areas. Get that in there. Definitely want to define under her nose. 
and down here where her lips are. That little spot in there. Okay. Now we're going to grab our flesh. And same thing, light pressure, just overlapping. This almost seems like it would be better as the blush color. So I just add it where I want pinky colors. Again, just getting hair on her nose, blending it out. These are a little smoother after they have a layer down already, but that first layer, they can feel really scratchy. It's like annoying. Um, some pencils just don't sound good on a really smooth cardstock. And you can still hear these are kind of scratchy though. Okay. Um, now, Fleshlight. Using a little bit harder pressure. I don't want to, well, not hard, like medium pressure, just because I'm a little better with where my colors are at. So I'm still leaving that white space under her eye. I may end up having to use a blender on this just so we're not here for days trying to blend this out. Now you can, of course, Layer to your heart's content. I'm putting a little heavier pressure around the nose here. And then just lighter as I come up top of the nose. my little white area under her eyes there, but yeah, because I think a blender pencil might make this easier for me at least. Um, like I said, you could keep layering, but um, I'm satisfied with the color, I'll usually just blend it out. Okay, grab the Naples yellow. I get very quiet while I'm concentrating. <laughs> okay, uh, Naples Yellow Light. It's a very light color. It's pretty forgiving. Again, I'm using a heavier pressure. I am leaving some natural white space on the paper. 
but not a huge gap. Pencils in 4K never look very pretty up close, do they? Cover up some of that white space there because I don't want it to look like she has a white circle. Where's my brush? Alright, she's not looking too bad. In fact, we could even take our Flesh Deep, which was the color I was going to use for her cheeks. Just add it very lightly into those cheeks. Very lightly, because this is a very pink color. It'd be very pretty on the lips, but a little too much of that on the skin, and bye-bye all the work we've done. Okay, um, I'm going to go in again with my sepia. Just darken that area. Now, is this a bona fide, like, skin? Skin color that you must use. I don't know. I picked it random. I've never done skin with Castle Art. <laughs> so this is what happens. Um, I am by no means an expert at coloring skin. I just kind of do my thing. I am practicing it, of course, and each time I do it, I feel I get better and better, but you know. Even if I were to perfect it, and I use quotes when I say that, um, nothing is ever really perfected. We's, we always have new techniques to learn, so much to do when it comes to art and coloring, so I just never consider it done anyway. This is the terracotta light, by the way. I didn't say that. Okay, now I'm back to flesh. I'm using it kind of on her eyelids just so she has some naturally cute pink little eyelids. This isn't the flesh deep though. That color is way too pink. Flesh light. Man, these pencils can get streaky on this paper. Covering up a little bit of that white space a tiny bit more because I feel it's just a little too bright up on her forehead. Okay. 
Okay. And then I'm going in with the Naples Yellow Light. Not the Naples Yellow, but the Naples Yellow Light. Skin always looks weird when the lips and eyes and everything aren't done. So always keep that in mind. I mean, her face will brighten up once you add her lips. I mean, skin looks even more weird when you don't have the hair. I'm on the fence as to whether I prefer to do the hair first or the skin. Now, I'm not going to blend it out yet because I may end up adding uh, more after I do her lips and whatnot. But if I blend it, it would just be with the Caran d'Ache Full Blender. That's what I tend to use for wax pencils, but I'll hold it up so you can kind of see. But yeah, so we've got her, her shading and <laughs> her skin. <laughs> um, Sorry that the beginning of the video is kind of wonky. I really need to play with that camera. I might just honestly record my videos on my camera and only live stream with that other one. Um, my phone, not my camera. But you know what I meant. But yeah, that is Skin with the Castle Arts. I will continue to work on her hands using the same combo of colors. And then, um, like I said, I will probably add maybe another layer I don't know I want to see how her eyes and lips look and then I will buff it out with my full blender so thanks guys for joining me and until next time take care